Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture of the subject CAD CAM. This is Mr. Suyog Patil, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology College of Engineering, Edra. In this lecture, we are going to see the computer assisted part programming. In the previous lecture, we seen that the manual part programming and now we are going to discuss this computer assisted part programming. So computer assisted part programming in case of this simple work part or the simple jobs simple work piece the operations carried out on this simple work piece are simple okay and in such a cases this manual part programming is suitable but in most of these uh, cases these the operations or the jobs are complex okay it is considerably more complex so therefore in this more complicated contouring op applications manual part programming becomes an extremely tedious task and it may subject to some errors as well as okay so therefore as this in case of this more complex operations or more complex jobs this contouring applications may be subject to errors so therefore this in case of this more complex jobs or more complex work parts so we have to go for this computer assisted part programming okay so therefore this computer assisted part programming is necessary in this more complex of jobs so therefore this high level language commands are interpreted by this computers okay in this computer assisted part programming this high level language commands are interpreted and the required calculations and the data processing are accomplished to prepare this nc program okay so this in this nc program this calculations required calculations and the data processing is accomplished and because of this automatic calculations the results are more accurate and also it saves the time required to calculate manually okay so in this computer assisted part programming the calculations are made automatically so it gives the better results and more accurate results so the part programmer's job and here we will see the part programmer's job and the computer's job okay so what is the role of this programmer in this computer assisted programming so first of all the programmer has to define the work part geometry okay the first role of this programmer is to define the work part geometry and then it he should specify the operation sequence and the tool part okay the operations sequence required to perform on that work part and the tool path should follow that tool okay so that also this programmer should specify okay these are the two roles of this programmers and the role of this computer in this programming is to input translation okay whatever the input data that programmer should feed to this computer so that data should be translate translate into this uh, machine language then arithmetic calculations okay so that means the programmer has given some input data that means the coordinates of this points p1 and p2 okay so this again it requires some calculations arithmetic calculations that means the tool should follow from this point to this point okay so arithmetic calculations are required so that arithmetic calculation perform this computer then again cutter offset computation the cutters tool, post, tool set in offset computations are carried out in this computer the post processor some uh, post processor statements that uh, programmer has to uh, feed okay and again these cross processor statements have to be uh, performed okay next some of the nc part programming language here we will see part programming language and numerical control part programming language consists of a software package that is software or computer program okay plus the special rules are vocabulary words for using that software okay so this in nc part programming this software or some vocabulary words are used to write the programs using that software okay the purpose is to make a convenient for the part programmer 
to communicate the necessary part geometry and the tool motion information to the computer okay the purpose of this language is to communicate this uh, programmer and this machine okay, or to this computer uh, this regarding this geometry of this part and the tool motion information so that the desired part program can be prepared in order to prepare this program this communication is required so it is through this language okay so there are very uh, so there are few languages are available here so we will see first of all apt that means automatically programmed tool okay similarly adapt is there adaptation of the apt automatically programmed tools then exempt is there exempted subset of this apt uniapt is there split is there so that split means substandard processing language internally translated okay similarly compact second is there then prompt is there sintern second is there so these are the some of this languages computer programming languages okay so we will see in this lecture this apt automatically programmed tools in detail so automatically programmed tooling development of this apt began in june to 1956 okay this it the development is begun in june 1956 and the first used it, it is first used in the production around 1959 okay this apt programming uh, automatically programmed tooling was first used in the production or uh, it is around this 1959 okay then this apt is not only an nc language it is also the computer program okay that performs the calculation to generate this cutter positions based on this apt statements so based on this automatically programmed tools statements cutter positions are calculated okay so this calculations uh, this program performs this calculations to generate this cutter position similarly we will not consider the internal workings of this computer program okay here we will not consider the internal internal workings of the in computer program instead we will concentrate on the language that the programmer must use here okay so this again apt is a three dimensional nc programming system and can be used around up to five axes okay this apt automatically program tooling is a three dimensional Uh, nc programming system and we can extend up to five axes so also this automatically programmed tooling apt is not only a language it is also the computer program that processes the apt statements and calculates this corresponding cutter positions and generate the machine tool control commands okay it controls this machine tool path also then when using one of this part programming language the two main tasks of this programmers are okay so there are while performing this uh, programming and using this part programming languages the main task is defining the geometry of the work part okay first task is defining the geometry of the work part and second one it is specifying the tool path of this operation sequence so therefore these are these two main things that we have to consider while writing this program then there are four basic types of these statements is in this automatic program ming tooling language okay apt language so first one it is geometry statements then motion statement post processor statements and auxiliary statements are the four type main types of this apt statements sorry statements used in this apt language okay so geometry statements are the statements if and also it is called as definition statements okay geometry statement statements are also called as definition statements and these are used to define the geometry of the elements that comprise the work part okay these are used to define this geometry of the elements then again motion statements are the statements used to specify the tool path okay so the whether this tool should follow the linear path circular path or any other contouring path of this tool okay so this motion statements are used or again we can say go front go back then go up go right go left okay so these are the some of these statements of this motion set so we will see in detail in the next uh, slides then post processor statements okay 
so post processor statements control this machine tool operation okay these statements control this machine tool operations for example to specify the speed then feed set the tolerance values okay for a particular interpolation and this this post processor statement controls this machine tool operation then some of the auxiliary statements these auxiliary statements are a group of group of the miscellaneous statements used to name this part program okay insert commands in this program and accomplish a similar functions okay so these are the uh, these functions can be uh, programmed in this auxiliary statements so first of all we will see the geometric statement in this geometric statements to program in apt the work part geometry must first be defined okay so we have to first of all define this work part geometry okay the tool is subsequently directed to move to this various point locations okay tool have to move this various point locations and along surfaces of this work part which have been defined by these geometry statements okay so that means in this geometry statements this tool path movement movement and the locations and surfaces on which this work, uh, tool sh uh, should move okay so that is defined in this geometry statements okay so this basic example of this basic general example of this geometric statement is symbol is equals to geometry type and descriptive data okay here in this descriptive data we have to provide some uh, detailed description of this operation okay for example example of this geometric statement is point okay for in case of this point so this symbol is used as p1 okay this symbol is equals to p1 is equals to this geometry type geometry type is here point okay so we have to locate a point at this particular location okay then after this slash descriptive data is there that means 20.0 40.0 and 60.0 are the coordinates of this point okay x y and z coordinates of this point are given here the second example of this geometry statement is lines okay so here in this line the symbol is l1 it is represented by this l1 so l1 is equals to this geometry type is line okay slash p3 and p4 that means this line is in between this point p p3 and p4 okay in between these two points this line is drawn okay so here the first section this first section indicates the symbol used to identify this geometry element that is point p1 okay this p1 is used to this is the symbol used to indicate this point for geomet geometric element second section of this is statement is the apt vocabulary word okay that means the point line circle here line point or again we can use circle and radius and this point okay center point so in this way we can define this uh, circle also then in the third section this descriptive data is there that means this coordinates of this point 20.0 40.0 60.0 or this boundary of this line that is p3 p point p3 and point p4 okay these are the descriptive data okay these commas are used to specific used to separate the words and numerical values in this descriptive data this commas these are used to separate the words and numerical values in this descriptive data okay so this is about this geometric statement similarly if a line l4 must pass through a point p5 and this line should be parallel to the line l3 okay if we want to write a statement for this okay so therefore this in this geometry statement this line l4 it is symbolically represented l4 is equals to line okay which is passing through this point p5 okay so therefore here p5 is there which is passing through this point and it is parallel to line p3 okay a line which is passing through point p5 and parallel to line p3 so therefore here parallel comma l3 line l3 okay so it is indicated by this statement this is the geometric statement for this uh, statement similarly a circle can be specified by its center and its radius okay so in order to write a geometric statement for this so therefore this c1 is the symbol c1 is equals to circle comma sorry slash 
center okay we have to define first of all center and center is p1 okay here p1 is the center then radius and after select after deciding this center we have to give this radius of this circle okay so therefore this radius is equals to 5.0 okay this is the statement for this a circle geometric statement then few of the rules uh, for this formulating this apt geometric statements okay so that we have to discuss here first rule is coordinate data must be specified in the in the order of x y and z okay so in this coordinates p point p1 slash 1.0 1.0 and 1.0 so here x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate okay so these coordinates should be in the order of x then y then z only okay then second rule is any symbol used as descriptive data must have been previously defined okay so that means in this descriptive data this is the descriptive data into of l1 and l2 so this l1 and l2 are the different symbols used okay so therefore first of all in the previous data so we have to define this l1 and l2 l1 means what and l2 means what okay so this any symbols used in the previous in the descriptive data must have been previously defined then a symbol can be used to define only one geometry element okay so that means we can see here p1 is equals to point 1.0 1.0 1.0 1 okay and p2 is equals to point 2.0 3.0 4.0 okay. similarly only one symbol can be used to define any given element okay that means p1 is equals to point this and p2 is equals to again point slash 1.0 2.0 3.0 .0. so therefore only one symbol that means here p1 and here it should be again p1 okay so this is the point and two symbols are used so therefore only one symbol can be used to define any given element that element that point okay so this is the rule of this uh, geometry statement then next it is motion statement okay so in this motion statement these motion statements are defined or it is and it is generally written in this format there is motion command and descriptive data okay so here we can see example so this is the motion command that is that means go to okay this is the motion command go to and descriptive data is point p1 okay point p1 so therefore go to p1 means this motion command is given here move from move to point p1 okay here p1 similarly from from slash target okay that means from uh, targeting for point it should move okay similarly go to example go to 2.0 7.0 and 0 0.0 okay x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate this is the point coordinates of the point is given okay go to this point then go left go right go up go down go front go back okay likewise motion statements can be used then post processor statement okay to write a complete part program statements must be written that the that control the operation of the spindle okay spindle operation then the feed feed rate and other features of this machine tools okay and these are called as the post processor statement the post processor statements are the statements used to control this spindle or this operations of the spindle and other features of the machine then for example coolant okay coolant on or off and feed rate okay, f e d r a t is this uh, statement used to indicate the speed rate then rapid rapid movement of this tool from any position or oh, sorry any point to other position then turret okay end program then machine or again we can say the spindle spindle speed spindle uh, speed okay can be show uh, denoted by using this post processor statements then auxiliary statements okay. some statements are used for cutter size definition okay part identification cutter size definition okay to indicate this some statements are used and such statements are called as auxiliary statements okay for example cl print then into tool cutter okay finish fini is used to finish part number okay so are the some examples of this 
auxiliary statement okay so again we here we can see this cutter slash 0.500 okay here this 0.500 is the cutter diameter okay cutter and its specification diameter is given here okay size of this cutter is given here defined here okay so in order to define this some auxiliary statements are used okay these are the few auxiliary statements here shown then thank you thank you so much